What started as a patriotic dream became an all-American reality in 1959 when the first AutoZone Liberty Bowl game was played and the Southeastern Conference was a key partner as Bear Bryant's Alabama Crimson Tide began the SEC's now 55-year history with the bowl. 13 of the 14 current SEC universities have participated in the bowl, a total of 32 times. A first for the bowl came in 1965 when not one but two SEC teams were featured in the game as Ole Miss played Auburn. In the 10th anniversary game, the day belonged to Ole Miss and quarterback Archie Manning, who passed for two touchdowns in the Ole Miss win. One of the most memorable games came in 1971 between Tennessee and Arkansas. A late fumble recovery by the Vols led to this game-winning touchdown by Kurt Watson. The Vols returned to the bowl to face Maryland a few years later. Tennessee won the game, but it's Maryland's Randy White, who former Vols coach, now Alabama Athletic Director Bill Battle, remembers most. We couldn't run at him, and we couldn't run away from him, and we couldn't go back to pass without him making the tackle. That sound of a gun was incredible. Texas A&M and head coach Emory Billard made their first appearance in the bowl the following year against USC. Alabama and its legendary coach made their third appearance in the bowl during the 1976 Bicentennial celebration. Linebacker Barry Krause returned an interception on the way to becoming the first defensive player in the bowl's history to be voted the game's MVP. LSU and Missouri made the first of two appearances in the 1978 game. James Wilder and Kellen Winslow led Missouri to the win. Four years later, all eyes were on Bear Bryant and the Autos on Liberty Bowl dominated the national spotlight. The legendary Alabama coach had chosen the bowl as the site for his final game. A sellout crowd and a horde of national media packed the stadium to watch and record the final chapter of Bryant's incredible coaching career. It was historic, it was memorable, a once in a lifetime experience. Alabama won the game, sending the Bear out a winner. The story 1984 Bowl matched nationally ranked Auburn and Ken Hatfield's Arkansas team. All-American running back Bo Jackson had two scoring runs, including this one for 39 yards. Auburn won the game and Bo was voted the game's MVP. In 1987, Arkansas and Georgia played a compelling rivalry game in the bowl. The Hogs and Dogs put on quite a show. Arkansas's Greg Thomas ran for a pair of TDs to earn MVP honors, but it was Georgia that got the win. In 1989, Ole Miss was inspired by paralyzed teammate Chucky Mullins, and the Rebels won the game, as they did in 1992 to claim their fourth AutoZone Liberty Bowl victory. In 2006, Steve Spurrier led his South Carolina team to a high-scoring 44-36 win, as quarterback Blake Mitchell tied a bowl record with four touchdown passes. In 2007, a record crowd of Bulldog fans packed Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium to support Mississippi State. The Bulldogs scored a late touchdown as the Dogs got the win and SEC Coach of the Year Sylvester Croom took home the fabled Liberty Bell Trophy the day Memphis turned maroon. The following year, Kentucky celebrated the AutoZone Liberty Bowl's 50th anniversary. Game MVP Ventrell Jenkins was the hero in the Wildcats' win. Jenkins, a touchdown, a replay, rerun. In 2009, a sellout crowd filled the stadium again as thousands of Arkansas fans called the Hogs. The Razorbacks answered by winning the first overtime game in the Bulls history. Kick is plenty on, and it is plenty on. The Arkansas Razorbacks have just won in overtime, the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. In 2010, Georgia head coach Mark Richt and the Bulldogs returned and continued the long-honored tradition of visiting the kids at world-renowned St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And in 2011, Vanderbilt made its first appearance in the bowl as the Commodores continued their resurgence under head coach James Franklin. The AutoZone Liberty Bowl and SEC have partnered together in seven decades. Thousands of student athletes and millions of passionate SEC fans have enjoyed the Bulls' unique patriotic history, tradition, and hospitality. Now, the AutoZone Liberty Bowl looks forward to continuing its proud partnership with the SEC. 
The bowl is committed to helping the member universities create memorable and meaningful experiences for their student athletes, while also utilizing the bowl experience to connect with alumni, fans, and supporters.